Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to our presentation this week, our webinar, Engagement. Uh, we want you to participate, ask questions, please. This is how we like to share our information. Uh, Kyle Davija and myself, we're excited to talk about all things Calgary, but today specifically, we're going to present the brand new development in East Calgary called Arabella Townhomes. Arabella is, you know, it's just east of the downtown core. We'll get into all those details in a minute, but truly a project that we are quite excited to talk about for a couple of personal reasons. Uh, but before we get into the development details, a little bit about ourselves, we've gone through this many times, but just for those new joining our webinar today, we are Remax Wealth Builders and Kyle, myself and Alex Wilson, who's not on the call today, our broker owner. Uh, we have helped over a thousand people secure investment properties in Calgary since 2020. And collectively we have sold almost half a billion dollars in pre-construction units in Calgary as a team. And this is really what differentiates us from all the groups out there that are selling Calgary. We have put our money where our mouth is. We walk the talk, whatever phrasing you want to inject there. We've invested our hard-earned money and we purchased and invested in 20 Calgary properties because we truly trust that market and we know the potential it has. And for a few of our properties, we've already uh, seen those numbers. Uh, talking about myself a little bit, uh, here we go. I own uh, a total of nine investment properties. Seven of those properties are in Calgary. So once again, putting our money where our mouth is. Uh, our, my first property is actually not too far away from uh, the Arabella development. So that's the personal connection. Uh, in terms of my background, I've been a realtor since November of 2020. I'm licensed both in Ontario and in Alberta. Uh, my resale business here in Toronto has put me into the 1% of realtors during the past three years. And that's essentially out of, you know, nearly 73,000 agents across the board. Um, I have sold over 200 and well, coming up close to 250 pre-construction properties since I've been selling Calgary. And just prior to that, you know, I've been in the entertainment industry as a director of sales and operations. None of that really matters. We really just want to focus on what we're doing now and the reason why we're excited about Calgary. Transparency for us is paramount. And we want to share with you our existing portfolio, which I'll do now. I got rid of it. <laughs> got rid of it? Okay. Well, I have seven properties. Uh, and worth today just over $5 million over the next 30 years, because these properties will have mortgages, will have tenants, will be valued at close to 12.5%. And that's only including a 3% year over year appreciation on those properties. To you, Kyle. Hi, everyone. My name is Kyle DeBigi. Uh, I'm a real estate broker. I'm licensed in Ontario as well as Alberta. I've been an investor for over a decade now, and I own seven properties across Canada, five of those in the GTA. And the last two that I purchased were in Calgary. In my previous career, I managed Lotto 649 and Lotto Max. So I used to help people win the lottery or I'd run the draws for them to win the lottery, making millionaires. Now I like to make millionaires in a different way by investing in real estate over the long term. And last year alone, I helped 195 people invest in Calgary pre-construction real estate. My claim to fame, you know, I started with a one deposit of $38,000 and turned that into a nearly $5 million real estate portfolio. And looking out over 30 years of just 3% price growth, that'll be worth over $10 million. So I've essentially created my own um, retirement fund through real estate. And Nisha and I help people do this every single day as well. So now let's talk about the project at hand. Arabella. This is the latest project released by Truman Homes, uh, one of the newest townhome projects in Calgary, something that we are very excited about to be bringing to you today. The prices on these units is $529,900 for a middle unit. That includes the GST. So that is your all-in purchase price. If you wanted to get one of those coveted end units, that'll be $549,900, including the GST. 
Now, these are four bedroom townhomes. Three of those bedrooms are on the top floor, and we'll look at the floor plans in a minute. One of those is on the ground level. These are over 1,500 square feet. This is your quintessential townhome in Calgary and really across Canada. This is what everyone is looking for. So, Nish, why don't you talk about the location in East Calgary? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a community called Princeton. Uh, and Princeton is, I did the math here, it's under 10 minutes to downtown Calgary. And that's really because it's really adjacent to the Trans-Canada Highway, which is Highway 16. That takes you directly into the downtown core. So when it comes to being close to downtown, but maybe not necessarily living in the hustle and bustle of the downtown core, you're not going to find a more easier uh, area to access then Princeton, you can zip on the 16th back and forth and you'll be home in under 10 minutes. So really a great location. You're just blocks away from East Hills. This is where Kyle and I invested our hard-earned money into as well. Kyle has a couple of townhomes there. I have a condo there. So this is an area that's already developed. Uh, you know, you have all your necessities and amenities, your big box stores, your hospitals, your schools, you're also, you know, under 15 minutes to the international airport, uh, which is only one of four in Canada. So looking for uh, a place to rent out to professionals, boom, it's right there. You're 15 minutes from the airport. And to the west of Princeton, you are going to find your way into Chestermere, which is the, um, well, what we like to call the executive community in Calgary. And for those that are in the greater Toronto area, uh, this is very much like the Oakville of Calgary, where the annual income is over $200,000 now. So a very affluent area. There's a lake, Lake Chestermere, which is uh, what's called, I think, an accessible lake or an entertainment lake. One of the few lakes in the area that you can take your boat out on. You can, you know, enjoy it in the warmer weather, swim, take your skidoos on, whatever you want to do. It's a, it's a very recreational um element that's close by to the Princeton community. And we're excited, truly excited, because we don't do a ton of townhomes. The last townhome project that we did in the Northeast, I think it sold out in less than a month. So the location of this, I think, is, is, is um, superior, just my humble opinion, because of the accessibility. And we're excited to share more about the project details as we continue. Yeah. And it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere here, right? Like below it and around it, just complete green space. But what you have to keep in mind is there is serious money being invested in this area. Um, Princeton is just above the Belvedere area structure plan, which is a huge redevelopment of 3000 acres of that land that you see just below the property. That is gonna include new homes. Essentially, it's, it's a brand new community, um, but it's being planned as a master plan. So lots of thought is being put into adding new schools into wide walkways, into bus and transit stops, into um, sidewalks, communities, playgrounds. And you have the East Hill Shopping Complex very close by nearly a million square feet of retail existing today. So Costco, Walmart, um, there are 60 other stores, bank, um, fast food, everything that you need for day-to-day -day life, quick drive away. And I want to reiterate, this project is actually closer to downtown than vast majority of other projects being released in Calgary. So you get the benefits of being a little bit outside of the core, but incredible access to the downtown Calgary market. And one of the uh, components when Kyle mentioned master plan community, um, this is a legitimate master plan community. And one of the key features of having a effective plan are the arteries going in and out. So you don't want to have a master plan community where it's going to take you 20 minutes to get out of your driveway. They have put measures in place and the proper specialists and engineers and city planners have been involved to ensure that this community maintains the ease of access to the areas that we just mentioned. Very important. Yeah. Liberty Village in Toronto. <coughs> Impossible to Liberty, get in and out of. <laughs> Liberty Driveway? Liberty Parkway? Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. So this is the site plan of the community. I believe it's 37 townhomes that are being built as part of this new community. And what I really like about these is they're really spaced apart. It's just not endless rows of track housing. This is going to be a nice community to live in. Um, in virtually every way, you're not really looking into any of the other units. You know, you have a little bit of green area, pathways, walkways separating you from the rest of the community. So I think it's going to be a very pleasant area to live in and very quiet as well because you don't have major streets going through the community. It's really just going to be the local traffic here. So great for families um, and, and people that want a quiet community. And if you take a look, Kyle, if you just go back for one quick second, I want to point out that if you look at each of the six buildings that make up this development, they all are sitting or adjacent to green space, which is important. Like you mentioned, you're not just in a, in a concrete jungle. You will see nature, which is important uh, for many people, especially in townhomes, because generally you're looking at small families, professionals coming in. So, you know, being away from the downtown core, you also expect some elements that are different from the concrete jungle. And there's a great number of end units. Those tend to be the most preferred unit type because it's more similar to like living in a semi-detached or duplex property. Uh, so a great mix if you want the more affordable options and there's a lot of middle units available as well. Um, a bunch of them are facing west, which is gonna mean you're gonna have really good sunlight in the afternoon. The ones on, on the right side, those are facing east. You're going to get really good morning sunlight as well. So lots of good options that can fit really whatever you're looking for. Great for investment, great for end users as well. There, there's nine remaining, by the way. Nine, sorry, eight end units remaining. So about 30% of them are, are uh, spoken for. So end units, if you are looking for one, please get in touch with us after this, after this webinar because they will be going quickly. Now, I like this. This is something that Truman does. They make it easy for you. You get two color packages. Both are neutrals. Both are fantastic, very appealing to the local markets. And they come fully equipped. Everything that you need in the units, appliances, washer and dryer, luxury vinyl flooring. There's nothing that you need to do to these units or to upgrade them. The latest condo that I bought in Toronto, I had to upgrade um, to put a light fixture in the ceiling so the bedrooms could have lights in them versus the switched outlets, $800 a pop. You know, developers often nickel and dime you on every single little upgrade. These come fully equipped out of the box. You do not need to touch them. Nisha and I were re recently in townhomes very similar to these. They are beautifully appointed and finished. Um, very high end, nice, nice uh, finishings, stone countertops, everything that you'd expect from a very high quality build. And, and my very first Truman property, which is the York townhomes, is this exact same layout with the same color packets. And speaking from experience and seeing the property myself, it is exactly as you see it here. They, they, they practice what they preach and they promise on their deliverables. Yep, the two different color balance. Now, of course, the, uh, the, um, uh, the accent pieces are different uh, because I have tenants in there, but in terms of the layout, the finishes, it's, it's to a T. And Nish, why don't you talk about the floor plan here? Yeah, the floor plan, just like the other projects that we've shared with you, if you take a look at the floor plans that Truman Homes put together, there is no wasted space. Rectangular or square floor plans allow you to maximize every inch of your unit. Beginning with the ground level, you have a two-car heated garage. Trust me, in Calgary, you want a garage. You don't want your car to be out in the elements, and if it can be heated, even better. Uh, and also on that same level, you have uh, one of the four bedrooms. It, it is a full bedroom. You can, of course, convert it to a den if you want to, but it has a closet. It has windows, so definitely accessible as a office or a bedroom. And then you have your staircase leading up to the main level, which is just under 700 square feet. This is your living, dining, and entertaining area. Uh, and it is large. We were shooting a video in this exact same layout just a couple of months ago, and it is very usable. There's, I think, about five or six people there doing all of this, and we did not feel crammed whatsoever. Um, you have your living space, you have your kitchen and dining, and you also have a powder room, 
also there's a huge deck that you can go out to. It's about 150 square feet. And in Calgary, you can put barbecues. And trust me, you can put a full barbecue and a picnic table that seats six to eight people. So when the weather allows it and it's sunny, it's pretty much always sunny in Calgary, you can enjoy the outdoor space. And then moving up to the living area, uh, sorry, the living quarters, the bedrooms, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs. The owner's retreat has a walk-in closet and an ensuite, which is a four-piece. And then you have your two bedrooms, which are also very large. Uh, the bedrooms have their own bathroom and always a bonus to have the laundry room upstairs because that's really where people keep their clothes. So you don't need to lug your dirty laundry or your clean laundry from the main level up to the third floor. It's already there for you. And total square feet, it's going to be between 1,570 square feet and 1,630, just depending on which unit that you get. But you're looking at an average of about 1,600 square feet for this uh, town. And then here we're looking at the outside. You know, they are planning landscaping for the property. Uh, but what I like about these is the condo fees do cover some of the exterior maintenance as well. Your roof is covered. The exterior painting is covered. Plus garbage removal, snow removal, the landscaping of the property, all of that is included. So whether you're an end user that's living in the property or an investor, you're getting a maintenance free property on the outside, which is very beneficial. You know, you've got better things to do, live your life, don't have to worry about taking care of the outside of the property. And it comes with a rental guarantee. So how does this work? Essentially, it is a leaseback program from the developer. That means at closing, Truman is going to rent the unit back from you. You get a rent check from them every single month. Then they have an in-house property management company called Empire 81, who manages all of their rental inventory. Truman has some purpose rental buildings as well. Um, and this company is going to manage all of the rental guarantee units too. So they have a long track record of renting units out in Calgary. And what's nice here is if the unit's empty, you're still getting paid. If it rents for less, you're still getting paid. Plus, you're getting those rental services, finding the tenants, screening them, all of that is included for free as part of the rental guarantee program. And you get the day-to-day -day management and maintenance of the unit, as well as dealing with your tenant included in the property. So for example, if there's a leak somewhere, they're going to call the plumber. They're going to coordinate with the tenant to get access. They're going to coordinate the fix. Now, you'll have to pay the plumber to do the actual repair, but they're the boots on the ground doing everything for you, coordinating it all for you. So the guarantee for the middle units is $2,500 a month. It's a little bit more for the end units at $2,575 a month. Now, whether it's a one-year or a three-year program depends on the deposit structure that you select. And this is a kind of an interesting option because normally you don't get to pick your deposit structure. In this case, you do. So you can either do a 10% deposit, um, that's 10% spread over 270 days. In that case, some of the incentives are a little bit less. You're going to get one-year free condo fees, one-year rental guarantee with the one-year free property management, and you get the assignment rights included as part of that as well. If you pick the higher 20% deposit structure, and you have to put down 20% at closing anyways on a rental property, and that's spread over a year, you're going to get a few extra incentives. The free condo fees is for three years instead of one. You're going to get the three-year rental guarantee instead of one year with the three years of free property management services as well. So definitely some benefits to putting a little bit more money down versus the 10% program. And this is by Truman. Nish, why don't you talk a little bit about Truman and why they're one of the trusted, most trusted developers in Calgary? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to preface this by saying six out of my seven properties are with Truman Home. So I trust them. And this is why I'm comfortable speaking to everyone on these webinars about why I believe they are the premier builder in Western Canada. So Truman Homes, I think they're coming up on 40 years uh, being a presence in Calgary. Um, it is a family owned development. So they are boots on the ground in Calgary. They have roots and networks set up within 
the province of Alberta and also within Calgary. So this way they are able to ensure that you get the best quality in your product and service because they have a reputation to manage. They have been in the game, as I mentioned, for 40 years. And I think, you know, I think development wise, probably in the three digits already when we talk about it, because I know with Kyle and I, since we started, we've sold, I think over 52 developments are probably in the 55 development mark now with Truman Home. So I'm sure they're, you know, well into the three digit mark in terms of how many projects they have delivered, which is important. There are other developers in Calgary, just there are developers, you know, in any other city, but you have to deal with developers that have a long track record of delivering on time, delivering for what you sign your contract for in terms of pricing, and then being happy with the product once you receive it. And they are the go-to that check off all those three check boxes. Our brokerage, Remax Wealth Builders, we have a direct relationship with Truman. So we're able to get you these projects and developments as soon as they are released. And we can get you those VIP platinum incentives because we are able to connect our partner, Truman, with the end user or the investor, which is you. So I believe that they are the best developer out there in Western Canada and enough so that I've invested quite a bit of money myself with them. Yeah, and I definitely believe the same. One of the best ways to protect your investment is by working with a top developer. And Truman is like the king of Calgary. You know, that's how I like to refer to them. So these are fantastic townhomes, exactly what end users and renters are looking for, but you want to make some money. So let's take a look. This is actually another townhome very close by that recently sold. Three bedroom, uh, very similar size. And look at that price, 543000 That is nearly identical to what these are selling for in the resale market. So you are able to buy a pre-construction property today that won't be closing until 2025, possibly 2026 for today's resale values. That's unheard of. This is not how pre-construction works. So um, you're, you're going to get that benefit. And we also know that the interest rates are going to be different than they are today. We expect them to be in that 4% mark come 2025, 2026. That just means that people's purchasing power goes up, which then would increase uh, the cost of real estate. So we're, we're going to be able to see a pretty significant win in my book when it comes to the time that these townhouses are going to be ready for occupancy, or if people want to sell them, you can do so as well. Absolutely. But Nish, is Calgary still a good place to be investing in real estate? I would say 100% yes. There's no other city that I would currently invest in other than Calgary. And I live in Toronto and I understand the markets that are there in other provinces as well, but there's so many different reasons. As you can see here, I'll kind of rifle through some of them. It's been voted the most livable city in North America for three or four years in a row. I think it's top three globally as well during the last three to four years. Um, we also have, it's been ranked on the Economist Intelligence Unit's Global Livability Index for the last 10 years. So for the last decade, it's been ranked in this very prominent uh, and, um, and uh, resource index. And, you know, when it comes to the city itself, you, you have, it's a world-class city. You know, you have a city that has the highest earning per, per employee in, in Canada. It has one of the lowest cost of living in Canada, so people have disposable income. So people want to live there, right? That's one of the major reasons why we're seeing such a huge increase in the population uh, in Calgary. There's ample green space. I mean, it's it's ideal for people that love nature, but also want to live in a major city that they can actually boost their income potential. And when it talks about the population growth, uh, you know, last year itself, Calgary or Alberta, sorry, saw a increase of over two hundred thousand people. We know the majority of those people are in the Calgary area, and that really is speaking more to what we were predicting back in 2020, 2021. So it's really nice to see that our predictions are coming true. Yeah, absolutely. We have seen record population growth in Calgary, and there's no sign of that stopping. At this point, a big percentage of that, about 80% is international immigration, but that other 20% is interprovincial migration, mainly from Ontario. People leaving because no one can afford a house or property 
in Ontario. And the numbers just don't make sense. So when you can buy a fantastic four bedroom townhome for 529,000 niche in the GTA, what does that get you pre-construction? Uh, you might get a parking lot. No, get, <laughs> you'll get maybe a studio. Uh, a studio in Hamilton. <laughs> 350 to you know 400 square feet. And that's in four to five years, maybe. Exactly. So this has been driving huge population growth in Alberta and especially in Calgary. And we're seeing that reflected in the prices there. The resale market is absolutely on fire. Every single asset class, and that's houses, townhomes, condos, up over 10% easily. Some are pushing 20, 25%. Semis in Eastern Calgary are up nearly 25% year over year. And this is population growth. It's a fantastic economy with very affordable real estate, great cost of living that is attracting people there that you know hadn't happened in the past. And I think this is sustainable. Calgary is really growing into a city of its own now, no longer dependent on oil and gas like it used to be. So I expect these sorts of returns to continue in the foreseeable future. You know, nothing I see is going to stop Calgary from continuing to grow. So I expect these sorts of returns as well. You have incredibly low inventory right now, less than one month supply for townhomes and for most houses as well. Even condos are very similar too. It is definitely a seller's market there. And definitely a landlord's market. I had a client just close on a condo in the Beltline, downtown Calgary, listed for, I think it was two days, rented. So huge, huge demand for purpose-built, or not purpose, but for um, uh, purpose-built rentals, but new rentals, new condo buildings rented out is something relatively new in Calgary as well. And there's huge attraction because you are getting a very nicely finished unit. So you don't have to live in an apartment building. You can live in a townhome in a house, which is very attractive to the local population there. And it's not going to break the bank um, for a lot of people there. So fantastic investments. I expect prices to continue to go up. Can I add one thing about the interprovincial migration piece, Kyle? I think um, just to give some context to how that looks like in Alberta versus other provinces. I'm going to take that as yes. So of course. Uh, uh, a quarter of Alberta's population increase was made up of the interprovincial migration. So that's people moving in from other parts of Canada into Alberta. So approximately 55,000 people moved from other provinces, or sorry, the net was 55,000 people that moved from other provinces into Alberta. And I think 35,000 were from Ontario, 18,000 from BC, and then of course scattered. But looking at the next two provinces that saw a net migration increase, there was only two. And that was, I think, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, and they were combined only 11,000. So Alberta saw five times as much as the next two provinces combined. So that is speaking back to the fact that we believe that this trend is going to continue. The job growth, the economy, and all the advantages of living in a province like Alberta is going to continue to attract people from other parts of the world, but also from within Canada itself. And that's why getting into a property like the Arabella condos for under $550,000 closing in 2026. It's one of those opportunities that you don't get to see, especially given the fact that today the prices of resale properties are going in and around those same prices. Yeah. And I think the statistic was there's 500 people moving to Calgary every single day. So assuming a family of four, that's 125 households moving to Calgary. Arabella has 37 units. We need four of those just to meet the demand every single day. Wow. We need to, we need to start a taxi service from the uh, airport. I think I mean, people need rides, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But if a townhome is, say, out of your budget, isn't what you're looking for, there are different options available in Calgary as well. And Nish, you want to talk about some of the options? Yeah, so Clover Condos, which is another project we launched uh, last month, it's in the northwest quadrant of Calgary in Carrington. And this is the very first large-scale development that Truman Homes has been involved in in the northwest. 
all the other projects that we have partnered with them to sell have been single family homes, duplexes, detached properties, things like that. But Clover Condos is a combination of four buildings, 415 units in total. Phase one just wrapped up. We're in phase two right now. So we're selling the second building. We have three bedroom units starting in the mid 400s. We have two bedroom units that are starting in the high 300s. And there are some two bedroom, one bathroom units as well that are starting in the mid $300,000 range. Clover condos anticipated to close in 2026, potentially 2027. Uh, it also comes with a uh, rental guarantee, a two-year rental guarantee, two years of free property management, again, by Empire 81. And you also get two years of no condo fees, which is great from a cash flow standpoint. The location also very favorable because the extension of the green line runs directly next door. So just across the street from this development is where the green line will be built. It'll probably be built before the condos are ready. So you can hop on the green line to go downtown in 18 to 20 minutes. And it gives and that's you that's the LRT, the mass transit there for those that Correct. don't know. Correct. That's right. Not, not a bus line, but it's the LRT. So it's like the above ground subway. Yeah. There you go, Kyle. You can... Uh, Maybe chat a little bit about the Lincoln Project downtown. Eight minutes Absolutely. from uh, Arabella. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so Lincoln Condos is a luxury high-end building right downtown Calgary. And I actually visited the location when we were there back in February, and it got me really excited. You are walking distance to the downtown commercial core, walking distance to the Calgary Tower, walking distance to the Green Line is going to have two stops very close by, only a couple minutes away to Lincoln. You're walking distance to the Stampede Grounds, walking distance to 17th Avenue, which is the Red Mile the hip happening area with all the restaurants. So very accessible area in the heart of it. It has one of the best amenity packages I have ever seen in Canada, let alone in Calgary. Um, comes with a pool, you have a gym, a yoga studio, a professional broadcast or um, uh, podcast recording studio. So many amenities, a bowling alley, like a kid's room that you can take your kids to play in. So many amazing amenities. But what gets me even more excited is the rental guarantee here. It is for three years, and it is the most generous rental guarantee I've ever seen in Canada as well. It is 6.7% of the pre-GST purchase price. So with the free condo fees that come with the condo, the free property management as part of the rental guarantee, these are cash flow positive at nearly a 6% mortgage rate at the rental guarantee rates. Wow. This means it'll be completely passive for you until about 2031 after the rental guarantee expires with the closing schedule 2028, maybe 2029. So an incredible option if you want a downtown project, slightly higher price points, the one bed, one bath, you're looking in the 500,000s. The two bed, two baths are starting in the mid 500s going into the mid sixes. And the three beds, you're going to be high 600s into the 700,000s. So definitely a higher price point. But wow, this is a high-end product. Amazing appliances, Fisher & Paykel. Um, amazing finishings, integrated appliances with the panels, high-end um, glass shower doors, stone, luxury vinyl flooring, everything that you'd expect from a really high-end building. Oh, you didn't even mention that the exterior was a gold stainless steel finish. It is. And this is actually what the building is expected to look like. We, we asked them like, hey, is this going to be real? You know, there's often liberties taken with the renderings. And they're like, nah, this is what it's going to look like. So very, very excited about that. But there are a couple other options as well. There's another downtown building called Imperia. This is where you can buy with just 5% down. This is the only true 5% project available in Calgary today where you get the complete incentive package included there as well. I think there's 10 or 12 units still available but you can also buy freehold houses as well. Nish, you want to talk about these? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the newest one that we launched a couple of weeks ago is phase four of the range view duplexes and single family homes. Uh, the reason these freehold properties are a jewel in your portfolio is you can add a secondary unit. So a legal separate entrance income suite in the basement 
to add additional revenue to your monthly income. The range view properties start in the mid 500s. Oh, sorry, eh, 599,000, I'm sorry, uh, would be for the duplexes and 649,000 for the single family homes. Uh, they come with four bedrooms, four bathrooms if you get the basement finished. They're going to be anywhere from 22 to 2,400 square feet. You could add a garage in the back as well. And I think if you go with the uh, full deposit structure, the garage is added in there for you as part of the incentive package. Now, these properties, they don't come with a rental guarantee or free property management. And I don't really think you need them for these properties simply because the demand for these types of domiciles are pretty high. You have a single family home, and then you can actually maximize the investment by getting that rental income suite. And today's numbers, when we're looking at some of these uh, rental numbers, you're looking at in the high 2000s for the main unit and anywhere between thirteen to $1,500 for the basement unit. So you're going to be coming close to you know 4000 maybe even exceeding 4000 on a monthly basis by the time these properties are ready. And the range view Freeholds are going to be closing between Q2 and Q3 next year of 2025. And then we also have the Walden project, which is just west of Rainview, which is located in the southeast quadrant. Uh, the rain, uh, the Walden homes, they're, they're larger uh, and they're in the mid 700,000 going all the way to the $800,000 mark. But these are pretty large homes in the uh, in the community of Walden. And we also just released the duplexes in Chelsea, which is in the suburb of Chestermere, which we looked at when we talked about the Princeton project, the um, uh, Arabella condos. And the Chestermere properties also allow for a secondary income suite, which we haven't had a chance to do in the past, but with this particular project, we can add the legal income suite. And these start in the mid $500,000 price points as well. And there's a lot of information. I know we're throwing a ton at you. So again, we will wrap this up nicely in a succinct email with all the details. So don't worry about that. We'll provide all the project details. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Davidji, I think you just recently did a, a video on the freehold properties, didn't you? Yep. I took a look at the cash flow there and what it looked like comparing each one of them and trying to find, you know, the best of the best. Don't know which property is actually going to appreciate more, but looking at some hard numbers can help you decide which project might be the right fit for you. But I don't think you're going to regret owning a townhome or a house or really anything in Calgary 10 years from now, because if the market's going up, it's benefiting all sorts of property types. So if you want to learn more, definitely reach out to Niche, reach out to myself or any of the Remax Wealth Builders team members, and we'd be very happy to help you. And, and maybe for the, the marketing team that's also uh, on, on the panel, sorry, attending today, maybe Kyle, you can link your video to that follow-up email when we're talking about the freehold properties. I think it'll be a great segue into them finding out more about, uh, you know, the, the prediction and the cash flow you just mentioned. Absolutely. Beautiful. So Q&A, we don't want to take too much of your time. So thank you everyone for being on the call today. For anyone that has questions, please feel free to drop it in the chat. But uh, there is one question in regards to the rental guarantee. So people want to know, is the rental guarantee mandatory? That's a good question. Do you want to take that call or do you want me to handle it? Go ahead. Perfect. So the rental guarantee is there as an incentive. It is not mandatory. Now, many people will bypass the rental guarantee because they, maybe they want to move in themselves or they know people that want to rent it out. So they don't need uh, Truman to do the lease back for them. The lease back is there as a insurance policy. If you are out of town or out of province, then it's a phenomenal option because it really allows you to be hands free. But there are going to be times where the rental market is going to be more than what the rental guarantee is. And that's going to happen as the population starts to increase. So the rental guarantee is something that you can opt out of. Now, there's a caveat. You can't just do it whenever you want to. You want to do that as soon as possible and always engage uh, the developer and us to determine what that timeline is looking like. So you simply don't exceed the deadline where it's not gonna be possible anymore. So you wanna do that as quickly as possible. And when we start looking at some of the projects that have a three or four year closing window, it's probably fair to say that the rental market is going to look different 
than it is today. And the numbers might be better if you go with the free market versus going with a rental guarantee. There's risks, pros and cons to both. If you decide to opt out, then of course, you know, you need to find someone that will find a tenant for you. So that's a property management company that you'll need to work with to secure a tenant. We have those networks set up for you. And then if you also want someone to manage the property on your behalf, we also have people that can help you make that happen, but there are associated costs. So you just want to be able to weigh out your pros and cons and determine if that's the way you want to go. But if that is a choice that you want to make, you should do that sooner than later. Absolutely. Well, if there's no other questions, then, then thank you everyone so much for joining today's session. We really appreciate your valuable time. If you have any questions, reach out to any of us. We'll be more than happy to help you to look at the rental guarantee, to look at the cash flow, or to see which project in Calgary might make the most sense for you. Fantastic. Thanks, everyone. Looking forward to hearing from everyone soon. And again, if you want the end units, get in touch with us because they are going. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.